Yo, what's up guys? It's Troy D from the channel Troy D 24 7 Mall on point reviews all day every day. Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to talk about something that if you guys are into Aventus or Aventus type scents and you let's say you've tried it all, you've tried the Orions, you've tried the Hachivat, you've tried the, the, the Cedar Boaz, you've tried the Aventus Cologne and you want something that is some is is very potent but at the same time it also has the feels of like the vintage, the old school Aventus that a lot of people are paying $500 for. Well, today you can get it for less, guys, because we're going to talk about a fragrance I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and that is none other than Jeroboam Vespero. Jeroboam Vespero, guys. Now, before I continue, guys, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, guys, okay? It motivates me to do the best that I can for you guys, and trust me, this video today, you'll see exactly what I mean. And also, I just want to say every Friday, I'm going to do a video called Show Me Your Collection. So basically, what you want to do, if you want to be part of this video, you can. All you have to do to join in is to submit your video by uploading a video of your collection, not going past two minutes, okay? Two minutes max, no music, no written things on it, no, no, no uh, subtitles or anything. You can talk and you can just show your video and you can also tell me if you have an Instagram, if you have like a YouTube channel, or if you just want to put your, your name, or you just want to put anonymous. You can put that on the video. All you got to do is upload it on YouTube, guys, as an uh, unlisted video. And then you copy the link and send it to me, and I will put this on my Show Me Your Fragrance video. I would love to see your collection, guys. So make sure you participate. It's only like two minutes, but you can do way less. You can do like one minute or 30 seconds. And if you're camera shy, this is perfect for you. So without further ado, we're going to go back to the tabletop with Jeroboam Vespero. But before that, we're going to do our intro music today. So now I can finally say, hit the music. <laughs> All right, we're back at the tabletop, and so today we're going to talk about, again, Jeroboam Vespero. So this one right here I added in my collection just because um, it was something that I was so intrigued with um, uh, probably a few months ago. You know, the, the two things that came in was like Aventus and leather, okay? So uh, I am a leather fan. You know, I've done a lot of leather reviews, leather frag reviews. Um, but when I hear about like Aventus and leather, I'm like, really? What's going on there? And um, what, what made it even more intriguing was that people are saying that it was like a Aventus and Tuscan leather. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I hate Tuscan leather. And uh, <laughs> because I hate Tuscan leather and they, they said it was Aventus and Tuscan leather, I told myself, I got to go get it. I got to debunk this. I got to see what's going on. And here we go. We got it. Um, this thing is a extrait de parfum. So uh, you guys already know it's more concentrated, more potent. And uh, it is a 30 mil. So it's not a whole lot. It's not a whole lot. It's 30 mil. But at the same time, I'll tell you guys that this is one of those that, I don't know, to me, it's not like a daily driver type of fragrance. And so 30 mils is more than enough for me uh, to own Jeroboam Vespero. Given that there are many other Aventasy type uh, colognes that are actually available at 100 mils or even 200 mils. <clears throat> cdnim <laughs> all right so there's a lot of those and so you know we, when you have a mixture of you know kind of like the cheap clones at bigger volumes then you have the real aventus at like 50 to 100 ml then you've got vespero at 30 i think you'll be fine you know you'll be perfectly fine with having this one in your collection at 30 mil okay so that was the reason why i really got intrigued i was like how is that aventus and um leather you know that that's really weird so once i got it um, man, I immediately sprayed it, but you know what? Let's do a celebratory spray. Let's do a Jeroboam Vespero spray right now. All right. Look at that sprayer. Amazing. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. Yes. So, and the reason why I keep bringing up Aventus, okay, is because the opening of Jeroboam Vespero is really aventus -y. You know, it's got the green apple, it's got the bergamot, and it's got the pink grapefruit. Okay, so when you when you have green apple on that opening, guys, and then you've got the bergamot and the grapefruit, it's like 
it's totally a fantasy. You know what I mean? Like it will always be recognized as an Aventus type opening. And this is exactly what you get when you spray this on yourself. Now, ooh, so wonderful. Now, this this thing right here, I would say the difference between this and Aventus in terms of the opening, right? Is that this is a little bit more uh more uh it's heavier in a sense, you know? Aventus to me, when I sprayed it side by side with Vespero, felt lighter this time. And I'm talking about the OG Aventus. When I sprayed it beside Vespero, I felt like that was lighter. And I was like, huh, you know, beside, when I got Aventus and Aventus Cologne, obviously, you know, the OG Aventus was the, the more, uh, you know, heavier scent. But now compared to Vespero, I felt like even on the opening, uh, Vespero was the heavier, uh, more dense uh, scent, even though it is a recognizable sort of Aventus scent. Now, the thing that could possibly worry you guys is the leather part, you know? Is this going to be part of Troy D's Spring Summer Hits? Absolutely, guys. You know why? Because the leather here, I was just expecting the worst. I was expecting some sort of Tuscan leather, ombre leather, or whatever leather, Queer de Ruzi. I was expecting something like that, a recognizable leather that I'll be, I'd be like, man, how can I wear this during the summertime? Guess what, guys? The leather here is actually not any of those. It is just sort of like a background agent. Because what happens here, guys, because I told you guys that the opening was pretty heavy, the thing that accompanies it is basically the woodsy, leathery, musky notes. Uh, it turns, it immediately turns into something that, you know, would really uh, sort of uh, create that same uh, vibe as like one of those those vintage uh, Aventus uh, uh, perfumes like 2013, 2014. Uh, very smoky, um, in, in a sense, uh, much, much darker, smokier than the current Aventus releases. And um, the leather... The woodsy notes definitely contribute. There is some jasmine in it. There's some florals. Uh, but I would say, yeah, like I said, it is a, a, a smokier version, uh, which will probably remind you of the old Aventus stuff. I have heard of people that actually just stopped buying their old, you know, they stopped buying vintage Aventus and just traded it for this. This one right here is around, what, $170. And if you go to the gray market, you might even get it at way cheaper than that. Uh, I got mine, you guys know, if you watch my last haul video, um, I did uh, get this at an amazing fri uh, price from a great seller that I know. And I will say this, guys, you can still get it right now uh, in the great market, great market at a, at a great price. But I will say this, guys, I mean, between this and a $500 like vintage Aventus, which only has like minor nuances, I would really take this, guys, for those days that I really want to smell that smokier, leathery uh, Aventus scent. Now for patchouli lovers, you guys are going to love this because this has some light, light patchouli, amazing patchouli uh, to accompany it as well as some musk. Um, and it, like I said, overall, you've got this like really smoky, vintagey Aventus vibe. One thing I do love about this for sure is the projection and longevity. So I sprayed this at around uh, 9.30 a.m. And uh, at 1 p.m., 2 p.m., guys, it has maintained the strength, which is something you don't find in others. You, you know, you'll, you'll hear people say, oh, it, it's five hours, last five, six, seven hours. But that means also that it could be like a skin scent. It could be already just right on the skin. It doesn't really linger around. Um, this one right here, like I said, from 9.30 to about 2 p.m., still lingering around, still strong. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why I enjoy this, guys. Performance is really great. Now, the way that this projects, guys, is like an Aventus, but it is long-lasting compared to the Aventus. If the Aventus projects great within the first, like, 30 to 45 minutes, this one would go on until, like I said, 2 p.m. from 9.30 a.m. with that same intensity, probably because it is a Parfum Extract, and uh, maybe it's also the ingredients, the, the way that it's mixed out. However, like I said, heavier, darker, stronger uh and is a great alternative guys uh if you are looking for another Al aventus alternative or something aventusy to add to your collection for me jeroboam vespera right here is a sexy scent i believe that this is more worn for me for i would say like a date night or uh just a, a nighttime gathering i know that aventus is usable in any time 
but this one right here, because of its darker, smokier nature, it to me is more sexier. It's more like uh, like a nighttime scent. You know, it could even be a special occasion scent. But it's also a scent that you could use when you want performance, when you want the scent to linger about five hours. You want people to smell you the same way, even in five hours. Guys, this one is a great addition um, to your arsenal. If Aventus doesn't do the job for you that way, uh, definitely add this uh, Jeroboam Vespero to your collection. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, I appreciate all the subscriptions. Man, we're blowing up. What, 1,600? We were just 1,500, like, a few days ago. We're 1,600 right now. So thank you, guys, for always subscribing. I will announce the winner of... Uh, the giveaway uh, probably tomorrow but we have enough uh, people joining already that you know I'm gonna make the announcement but again thank you guys for subscribing for being with me for loving the channel uh, I've been hearing great remarks from a lot of people I know thank you I appreciate you all love you all and again don't forget to stay with us do subscribe and watch our videos okay we love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video peace